Audi uh, A4. I'm doing the uh, the wheel bearing for this Audi. As you can hear, it's uh, really bad. Okay, so to remove the bolts from the tire, I use a 17. Um, to remove uh, the bolts of um, the caliper, I use uh, 13 millimeters. And for the bracket, um, I use number number eight. Uh, this tool right here. So it's this this ball right here. So it's you can use a number eight or let me see the size of this one. Uh, I don't see this. Oh, yeah, or oh, five sixteenths. Okay. So the bolt that is behind is really challenging this one so that's why you're gonna need this tool right here to remove the bolt that is holding the bracket <clears throat> so to remove the cap uh, this cap right here i'm gonna use a hammer and a chisel this, this, uh, this chisel right here and you're gonna try to hit it right there um, to see the wilbury nut okay so just take the time to do, do, a little, do it be careful and try not to damage the the cap okay so now we're gonna find a, a socket to remove the nut or the bolt and in this case we're going to use a 19 six points uh, 6.19 and uh, just make sure it fits good because we're going to use the same bolt and with the air gun we're going to remove it okay Just uh, take the time to do it slowly and try not to damage the bolt. Okay, it's almost out. Got it right. Good, and now um, to remove the bearing. And we're gonna use a hammer or just with your hand just pull it out and it's out now so here's the new one so look at the new one okay work and here is the new one
just make sure you uh, you put back the bolt with uh, your hand. Do not do not use a, a air gun because you may damage the the nut. So use the ratch uh, with the socket and just take your time and do it easy. Really soft and. But please guys, don't remember, do not use the air gun. So it's 147. Plus one at the base, so I should be one over here. All right, guys, so uh, you can do the 147 foot pounds, and also just do uh, because uh, this is an old bolt. Uh, you can do just uh, no 180 degrees, so you can do only 45 degrees, okay? So 147 foot pounds plus 45 degrees and, and you're good to go. Alright, so now I'm going to put everything back together, okay? I just want to put everything back together and put the disc uh, to remove uh, the little bolt that is holding the rotor. I use a T30. Okay. So, so now it's feeling good. So now it's time to put everything back together. So you can put everything back together. Uh, just put the uh, rudder, then the, um, the bracket using those bolts that go back here. Then you put the, uh, the pads and you hold the rudder with the, with the little screw and uh, just put the pad in there. 